In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to connect my SQL to different database servers, being my SQL, um, MS SQL, SQL Lite, PostgreSQL. So and I'm also going to show you how to connect to other database engines. So this is the first in the series of tutorials on SQL Alchemy. This is the module for managing relational databases in Python. So if you want nuggets like this or classes like this, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. Again, I'm running a data science class every two months. So if you want to join these classes, please do reach out to me by comment or reach out to me by my email or through the contact form on my website. So right now, let's go ahead to get started and connect the, um, uh, MySQL to Python and actually load data from a CSV using Python, a Python data frame, and load data into SQL database. Uh, we are going to be doing it with PostgreSQL, MSSQL, and MySQL today. So I'm going to start a new notebook right now. So I'm going to say new Python 3. I'm going to start a new notebook. So the first one we are going to be doing, I'm going to say connect to uh, SQL Lite. As SQL Lite, sometimes they call it SQLite or something. Okay. So let me, uh, I'm marking down this cell. So, okay. So now the first thing we want to do is to import uh, the necessary module and the module you always have to use when you want to manage databases is called SQL Alchemy. And of course, we also need Pandas because we want to load some data to Pandas data frame and then load it up into a database, um, a database table. So I'm going to run this code and it imports SQL Alchemy. If you don't have SQL Alchemy, if it says no module named SQL Alchemy, then use Conda install SQL Alchemy. Or you simply go to the Anaconda dashboard here and go to this where you are, you go to environment and simply look for SQL Alchemy uh, right here and install it. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is I want to import uh, some data from a CSV file I have on my system. So um, to do that, I'm going to uh, use this uh, code here to import some data from my system. So I'm going to run this code. So I'm importing some data. So this data, if I view it, you can see that is uh, some data set. Just call it some data set. And that is what we have here. Now, we are going to run this code that says uh, uh, file db to actually uh, create a database file for ML, SQL Lite, okay? So there are two ways you can do it. You can create an in-memory database, but in this case, I want to create a file database. So in this case, it will create a new database for you. And take note, it will create a new database for you Later on, we are going to see that for some other engines, you have to have existing uh, database. So let me uh, put it in student, student data site. Okay, so I'm going to create uh, this. Um, yeah, I'm going to create it into student data site. Okay, so the engine is called a file DB, so more or less like the object for managing the database. This. Uh, SQLite database. Now I'm going to load up this data. This data I read, I'm going to load it into that database and then we take a look. So I'm going to um, use this code here and load the imported CSV into the uh, tutorial DB. Okay. And the name of the table is telescope data. So it's going to, it's going to create this new table for me uh, in that database. All right, so how do we know it works? I can simply go to the folder, go to student data set, and you can see I have tutorial DB. If I go ahead to open it, it doesn't make any sense because that is just a database. So this is how to create a database for SQLite. Now there is an application I'm going to show you. This application is called SQL Browser or DB Browser for SQLite. So I go to DB Browser for SQLite. You can see this application here, but we also have another one, DBVal. Uh, the installation for this is very easy. So please install it and then um, you'll be able to use it. 
All right, so this is the interface for DB Browser for SQLite. So you can actually use it to open any file database you have on your system. So if I go to open now and choose the directory where I have this database I created, I have it in Data Science in six weeks. On the student data set, I have this tutorial DB. So I'm going to simply open it up and it opens up. And in the database structure, I can actually just go to browse data and you see the data. But however, you see the, de uh, the database uh, structure here. You see the telescope data, which we imported. You can just say um, browse table and you have it here. Okay. Fine, so this is SQL light we've just completed. Let's move to something else. Let's look at what next we have. The next one is uh, connect Python to my SQL database. So let's now do uh, the case of connect to my SQL database. Again, we are going to create our connect MySQL load up data in a database as well. The same way we did now, that's exactly what we are going to do. All right, so the first thing we want to do uh, is to create one database in MySQL. Now, I recommend you have, you should have, somebody is just giving me, okay. I recommend you should have MySQL Workbench uh, or even DB, uh, DB uh, Browser for MySQL or DBiva, uh, but MySQL Workbench, I think, is better. So once you have MySQL installed, you also have, if you don't have MySQL Workbench, it's also fine. So I'm going to use, in this case, I'm going to use command line to just create an empty database. So let me use command line and create an empty database. So I'm going to connect to MySQL database and create an empty database. So I'm going to say MySQL minus uh, u root minus p and enter my password root user. And then I'm going to simply create a new database, create database, um, uh, let's call it tutorial DB, okay, tutorial DB, that's the name of the database. So if I go now to say show databases, you have, you see one database called tutorial DB, which I just created right now. Okay. So I'm going to now uh, create the MySQL, in, uh, connect to MySQL by first creating the engine. So there is a code to create the engine, MySQL engine. You now specify the URL for MySQL. Now you have to use the username, uh, colon, the password, local host, and then specify the ports and then the name of the database. For me, I think uh, the name of the database is tutorial DB. In case of MySQL, you should have the database existing for it to work. Um, so I'm going to run this right now and let's see. Okay, perfect. The same data I loaded before is the same data I'm going to load. So I'm going to simply uh, run the command data.load to SQL and specify the name of the table and the name of the engine. So in this case, we have the name of the table is going to be telescope data. And this is MySQL engine, which the object we use to create the connection. So if I run this code right now, it's going to run. And if I go back to my command line and I say use uh, tutorial db, and you'll see database change. If I now say show tables, we have one table called telescope data, right? And that's the same table. I mean, let's see telescope table, that's this table we added here. Okay, so if you now say select, select star from telescope table, you can see that we have the same, um, the same items we have here. How to set up SQL Workbench and create a database? I'll, you have a link to that in the description box. It's just a five to seven minutes video on how to just set up um, SQL Workbench. I think it's better working with SQL Workbench than writing in the command line. Let's now go to the next one, PostgreSQL. Now, PostgreSQL is about the same, except that we now also need to have an existing database in PostgreSQL. And PostgreSQL, we actually need the PG admin tool. So let's see. So first, let me write the uh, the, uh, the the comment here. Connect to PostgreSQL, and I'm going to mark it down. Mark down. Oh, sorry, I'm going to just mark it down. All right. 
Okay, so now the, the connection to PostgreSQL, you need to pay attention to it. So I'm going to, I'm going to copy it and paste, I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, I think I need to reduce the font one more time. Okay, so it says PG engine. Now this name, you can change it to something else. That's just a variable name. Is the engine CE. Remember that we have the CE here, which is the, um, we call it create engine. This is the URL to connect to PostgreSQL. It's similar to connection to MySQL, except that in this case, the database name is different. Uh, but I think every other thing, and also this uh, first part, the dialect is going to be PostgreSQL. So it says the username, uh, colon, the password, at the server, the port, and then the, the database you want to connect to. So, um, so I'm going to run this code and now we are connecting to a database called PostgreSQL. Okay, we are connecting to a database called PostgreSQL, uh, Postgres, okay? And I want to now write into the PostgreSQL, copy this data into the PostgreSQL. So I'm going to paste this code, but in this case now, the engine is going to be PG engine right here. It's going to be PG engine. And let's call it telescope um, data uh, from Python. That's the name of the table so that we just make sure that this table is created. Um, yeah, so this is how it should be. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to execute this line. And if it works, it's the execute. This database will be, this table will be available and the data will, will be loaded inside. Um, give me a second, let me just take this call. So this data is now loaded into uh, uh, PostgreSQL. How do we know? We need to use pgadmin. There is a tool called pgadmin. You need to install it or you need to check the link in, my, in the description of this video on how to install pgadmin. Uh, if you want to join my data science and machine learning class, we are going to cover all this, um, everything about this in that class. So please reach out to me. But let me open PG Admin so I could show you um, that this data actually loaded. So this PG Admin. All right, so this is how the PG Admin window opens up. So I'm going to enter my password. And if I go to servers, go to localhost and go to Postgres, from Postgres, I should have the schemas here. And now you have telescope data from Python. If I right click and simply say, uh, I, can, I think I can just double click on it. Maybe not. Okay, right click and say, um, view data and say all rows. You will see the same data we have. Uh, it's going to show up here. Okay, so this is about PostgreSQL. Uh, we also have MSSQL. So the MSSQL, uh, this is the how to do it. I cannot show it here because I don't have MSSQL set up locally on, on, on Mac. Uh, but how to set it up, I did set it up on Mac, but I, I think I don't want to go through that, open it up right now. So how to install MSSQL on Mac is also quite straightforward. You can just find it. I made a video on that, so if you simply say, install ms sql on mac you will see that it shows up uh, my video which is this one so let me just increase so this one is my video it says kinds on the tech pro right so see how to install ms sql on mac if you want to join my data science class please reach out to me it's something you will need uh, because everything is actually moving towards data science now all right, so I'm going to stop here. This is class one completed, it's for beginners. In the next part, we now see how to actually write SQL queries, create in South of data and delete data uh, using Python codes, um, uh, interfacing with uh, relational database. So I'm going to stop here. Please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. Also like this video and share it. I remain kind on the genius and I'm always there for you.